Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So first of all, I wanted to say um, thank you to all my new subscribers. I noticed uh, while I took a little time off and was doing some things um, that I had gained some more subscribers. So I just wanted to welcome everybody. And of course, always thank you to those who have been with me from the get go and on throughout. So I just wanted to thank you. Um, I also want to thank, um, cause I think there's a person that's pretty responsible for the subscribers that I've been gaining the past week is, um, Mary Ellen, Mary Ellen after 60. I'm going to put a link down below to her channel, um, as well. And I just wanted to tell Mary Ellen, thank you so much for, um, just the sweet comment that you left on your video. Um, your last video. I'm trying to think of the name of it and I can't right now. So, but thank you very much, Mary Ellen. You know, I adore you very much. So, all right, this is going to be my favorites for February. I know I'm kind of late and I was going to actually call it maybe my current favorites, but then I just thought I'd just stick with the February favorites. So I'm just going to get right into it and tell you some of the, my, the items that I'm really loving and have been loving and been using quite a bit. So for hair products, I only have one thing to talk about of a hair product that I really found as a favorite right now that I was enjoying. And I did do a video on it and it is from the company Brew. Um, these, this shampoo and conditioner, I'm not going to get into full detail. I'll just put a link to that video down below if you're interested in hearing more about Brew. And it's like a detoxifying shampoo that get, get rid of it gets rid of uh, buildup. <laughs> I almost said the same thing I did the last video. So the next um, product is uh, it's in skincare. I always like to start from hair and then go into skincare. So for skincare, and I, I never can find anything that's reasonably priced like this. And I just, I do enjoy Mario Badescu. Most of you know, if you've been watching me for quite some time, I really like Mario Badescu, and this is the facial spray with the aloe, herbs, and rose water. I love this stuff. I use it in my skincare regimen, and um, I'm going to do a video and show you some of my skincare products that I use and kind of get get into it and tell you what I use right now. So, But he his line is probably one of my favorite skincare lines. I would probably say Dr. Dines, Mario Badescu, and I really like El Generous. That's a really good brand too. So, okay. The next thing is a moisturizer and I really like this moisturizer. I actually got it from, um, I don't know how well you're seeing it there, but I got it from TJ Maxx. Um, you know, you can get a, like a lot of good skincare products for a really good price range and some are brand names. Now this is called Gly glycoderma and it has 25% glycolic acid solution. I really like this moisturizer. I've used it during the daytime and nighttime both and um, it's kind of strong. Um, it, it has a strong scent to it. However, it doesn't linger around for a good while. I think it's it smells kind of floral maybe. I don't know but I really like this. I've been using it quite a bit. Okay the next um, I'll just tell both because these were sent to me and I did do a video on these and this is from the company Valentia and this one's that ultra plumping hydration mask and then this one's the True Glow um, eye cream. And I'm not going to get into full detail of these neither because um, I did do a video on them and everything and um, um, I'll just put the link down below to that video and you can hear more detail, but um, the plumping mask, I just, I love this mask totally and I had to put it in my favorites because I have seen such a good difference um, with my skin using it. Okay, so for lips, to keep my lips hydrated and like right before I put makeup on, like keeping them hydrated and everything, this I had mentioned in a video and it is my most favorite lip balm of all time right now because 
I do feel it plumps up my lips or kind of gives them some nice extra hydration or something. And it is the Dr. Dines uh, Lip Balm. And it, you can get two of these for like $16. And I do have, I'm getting low on this one, as you can see, it's like right here. And it's a peachy color and you just, it has her Hydra Shield in it. And if you're familiar with Dr. Ness, Hydra Shield in her line is to uh, produce collagen and help um, hydrate the skin and uh, plump it up. So Hydra Shield's in this lip balm here and I'm loving this lip balm. So it is my favorite, definitely my favorite lip balm. So I love that. For face primer, I was pretty impressed with the Coverall Primer from Wet n Wild. I had purchased this about a month or so ago, maybe a month and a half now, and I was really impressed with this um, primer because I wasn't sure how well I was going to like it or how I was going to feel about it. It does have silicone, like dimethicone in it and everything, but it doesn't feel like that real greasy, slicky feeling like some of them do. It actually just goes on the skin and it almost feels like sort of sort of like a moisturizer in its own self and but the only thing that I have a beef with I don't know if it's going to do it now it comes out like uh by itself kind of a thing you look that's my biggest complaint about this stuff is that but otherwise it, it goes on really nice like a moisturizer and um it has a slight smell to it, like scent, but nothing, nothing major at all. Okay, so the next item I want to talk about is the um, Pixie uh, Brightening Peach Corrector. Um, I know this is kind of a popular thing on YouTube here. It is a nice peach color, and what I come to find how to use this for me the best that it works for me. I learned this from Julie, Julie and DC, I think is her channel. I want to put a link down below of her channel. Please go check her out. She is really wonderful. She gives great tips and has great looks. She's pretty amazing and she seems to know her stuff. And she had mentioned, um, you know, a peach color. Like I think she had this and then other different peach tone kind of correcting concealers. And a lot of us get pretty dark, you know, in around here, like in your inner ear, inner tear duct area and along the side of our nose, like right in here. And I'm one of them people that kind of, you know, you get like a shadow or something. So I've been doing, using this, I don't put it like under my eyes as much as I do in around here, as she had mentioned, like I bring it up and through here and down. And it really has brightened it up more for me there and I like it so that's what I've been using this for foundations oh my goodness I have two foundations that I am loving and the one foundation I have on right now and I did do a review on this foundation on my on here put a link down below to that is the pure cosmetics hydro fluid water serum foundation I love this foundation. This is one that just does look like your skin, gives you a nice dewy glow. I just, I'm loving it. And just a little goes a long way for me. But however, this one here from uh, Dr. Dines, it is uh, Dr. Dines, which sorry if I'm blinding you and you can see my fingerprints. This is her new foundation. It's called Med MD Concealer Foundation. And it has a sunscreen broad spectrum of SPF of 35. Okay, um, now I didn't do a review on this. I will be doing a review on this foundation. Only reason why I haven't, and I'm going to let you know, um, is it will be coming back out. Um, there was problems with the packaging, um, the, this packaging here. It's one of those ones where you open it up like this and there's like um you press here and it pumps out and the foundation comes out but there was problems with the packaging and so she wanted to 
you know, correct it. And she's going to actually be putting it in a tube version, sort of like, like this kind of a thing um, of her foundation instead of this kind of packaging. And you do get, where'd it go? Oh, you do get a kabuki brush with it, which is a really nice, it's one of those ones that you pull it down and um, it's a really, really nice kabuki brush. I need to clean mine badly because I put this foundation on yesterday. I used this yesterday. But this is a really nice foundation. These two are pretty close in how the finish is and everything for me. Um, they both look like skin. They both moisturize. They both have skincare benefits. They both give me a luminous glow. I think this one gives me a little more of a luminous glow, the Pure Cosmetics. The one factor that I don't think I read or remember is I don't think the Pure Cosmetics has an SPF where Dr. Des has an SPF of um, the 35. So it's not out yet. Um, she did have these out for a while, and like I said, it had the faulty packaging. So it's not back out yet. I'm not sure when, but I'm waiting till close to when it comes back out again to maybe do a review. That way, you know, you can go ahead and order it. But she is working on it. Eyebrows lately for me, like, uh, I totally forgot about this product, crazy enough. And it's a Mally Beauty product, and I don't know, I think she still does sell them. As far as I know, maybe on our site and everything, but it was her um, professional brow shaping system 24 and 7. Get three items all together. This is like your brow pencil to sh um, shape your brows and, and all that kind of stuff and get it all primed and ready and whatever. And then this is your powder. You get two powders in there. Mine's in taupe, so. This is to fill in or color in the eyebrows and everything. And then the other side is a setting powder to set the whole thing so it stays in place. Um, she was always very well known for this one. I know she has new ones out now. I haven't tried her new ones, but um, I totally forgot about this. And then you get a brush where the one end is for to fill in the brows and all that with the powdered stuff. And then this is to help set... Um, with the white powder. So been using that a lot lately. For bronzer, for bronzer, I've been loving the Chocolate Soleil. This is medium deep, actually. This is medium deep. I couldn't believe that when I seen that because I thought, what shade is this one? I got it in a in one of my the a summer kit that came out last year. And y'all know about well, most of y'all know anyway about the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I think it's like one of the hyped bronzers on here besides the Hula Bronzer, uh, which I do like that one. But this one, I, I really, I love this one. It's, of course, smells like chocolate. Who doesn't love that? So I've been playing with this. <laughs> How cute is that? So cute. So then uh, blushes. I'm ready for color, which if you noticed, I do have some like blue, I have like bluish, yellowish, and brownish. I have like all kinds of mixed colors on my eyes right now. I'm so ready for the color, the spring, the summer, and all that kind of jazz. I picked two blushes that were kind of pinky, uh, pinky or uh, lilac-y pinky tones that I've been using. Um, this one I used today. This is a limited edition though, um, but it was the Wild Blossom from Maybelline when they had the limited edition blushes. And Wild Blossom is a beautiful, there's a little bit of sheen to it, but it's a beautiful, um, beautiful lilac-y pink shade. There it is right there. And then the other one, you can still get this one ah, it's from Maybelline also, funny enough. The Master Highlights, I, this one's in the, is it just pink? Pink Rose. It's in the pink rose one. I love these. These are wonderful for blush highlight in one kind of a thing. I'm not flipping you off. I'm sorry. I'm just using my middle finger there. So there it is right there. It's more of a lighter color. 
and I've been playing around with those two shades quite a bit. For highlight, and I have it on today as a highlight, so that's what you see. And I do have that foundation on, but this, this part right here you're seeing, that's this highlight here. This doesn't get mentioned. And it is a high, I mean, it's it's one of those ones that it, it's listed in the bronzer selection, but it's actually more best used as a highlight. I can't see it being a bronzer. And it is from the company Prestige. Is that it? Yeah, it's Prestige skin loving minerals i've shown this different times before but i don't know if people have seen it and this one is in let me see if i have it right it's actually in pure shimmer that's what it's called pure shimmer bronzing powder see it says mineral bronzing powder but this here is more of a highlight and it's a baked baked uh, product. You'll see what I mean. It's beautiful. I don't, I'm surprised not, not enough people mention it on here because it's, it, it looks beautiful. So you can see right there. That's from the company Prestige. I'm not sure why people don't. And I mean, it really gives a nice highlight. You can see right there. I got mine on drugstore.com. You could look on Prestige site also, but I got mine on drugstore.com. So I really, I love this guy. So I pulled him back out and thought, yeah, I'll play around with him. All right, palettes, eyeshadow palettes. There's two that I really got into using a lot. And I mean, a lot. First palette is my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. Oh my goodness, I grabbed this. I don't know how many times I even used two colors in here today on my eye look and um there it is there i know you've all seen it like loads and loads of times my favorite colors are i love anaheim i love punk oh my goodness punk i love that color right there that is a gorgeous shade um and then the other one is 1987 that gold shade those are three of my favorites in here of all and I was just using the heck out of that palette. And then the other one, which I don't want my brush to fall out, is the Anastasia or Anastasia. The Anastasia or Anastasia, whichever way you pronounce it, I say Anastasia. Um, the, oh my lord, what's the name of this palette? The self made, the self made palette. I've been pulling this out. As a matter of fact, there was a video, and I'm not sure which video it is. People were like, oh my god, I love your eye look, your eye look. I had like three or four different compliments on my eye look that day. And I actually ended up using, um, I believe it was the deep, deep purple. And then the one next to it, treasure. And then mixed in chocolate and butter and all, all that. But this is a really nice, and I I think it's still available. I think it is. I'm not sure. I think the last places I was seeing it was Nordstrom or Macy's or one of those other ones with a self-made palette. Between those two, I've been using the craziness out of them. And then lastly, I have um, two lipsticks here. I've been kind of using a good bit. It's kind of funny because one's more um, the brownish, pinky brown tone, and then the other one is totally pink. But um, the first one here is Rose Femme 42 from the Milani collection, and I believe it's just from the cream collection, just the basic collection. And I've been using this a lot, as you can see. I've been using it quite a bit, but it's a beautiful color. Works well for me. I was surprised. I wasn't sure how well it was going to work, but it works really good. But I'm ready to pull out some of the bright colors now. I'm ready for it. So I kind of brought in um, Stormy Pink from, Re is it Revlon? It's from the Rev Revlon Super Lustrous, but I think it's, yeah, it's a matte. It's 011 Stormy Pink. Okay. And I've used this a good bit, as you can see. 
and it's it's a matte but i love it i love this pink color really pretty pink shade right there it is really nice so i've been using that a good bit and love it so that is it that is all the products i've been using a lot in the month of february thanks so much for joining me i really appreciate it if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up um that would help me out so much and i really appreciate it um also if you are not subscribed to my channel you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week i will have videos up each week and as always bees please remember to just be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time y'all take care i We'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. And I love you all. Bye-bye.